So I'm so excited about this new addition that I just got into my classroom that I can't even wait until later on in the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you now. <laughs> I got a gumball machine. I'm so excited. I'm super excited about this guys because this gumball machine is gonna be used as an incentive. I've been wanting one for years and to be honest, I already had a little bitty one, but it didn't fit the capsules that I wanted to use with it. So I went onto Facebook Marketplace and I found one. So I mentioned to you guys that this is gonna be used as an incentive. And so basically the students are gonna to get to earn a chance at the gumball machine. And it is truly a game of chance because students are not gonna know what they are going to get. So I've created 12 different prizes that students can have. Some of these are free, some of them are not. They can take a trip to the treasure box, they can get gum, candy. It's different items, but each of them have been cut up and placed into these very tiny, let's see, very tiny little capsules. So that when students open it like this, they are gonna have to unravel like that. Um, and so this is gonna tell them the prize that they get. Now this is not like my main behavior management tool. This is just something a little bit extra. And by a little bit extra, I mean on the days when I have a sub and they need to pick out one or two students that did their absolute best, they can take a chance at the gumball machine. Or if I have a day where I just want to reward somebody for doing something super great because they've made big changes into their behavior, they can take a tri trip to the uh, gumball machine. It is just an extra in the classroom. It's just extra. And I'm all about love and extra. <laughs> so I am so excited. Um, and then we ended up buying these off of Amazon as well. They're one inch capsules and they fit perfectly with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up a little bit and show you how it works. So normally I would have a lock up here. We did order a lock right now. There is no lock, so it comes right off. But once there's a lock, there's gonna be a key and that's gonna be the only way to be able to access this inside. Um, and the lock also holds the whole thing together. This right now just kind of comes apart. So we're still waiting on that. I should end up getting that tomorrow. We will see um, depending on delivery. All right, so I'm gonna lift it and then we're gonna insert some of these. Okay, so now you can see that I have all of my capsules in here. Obviously, I was not anticipating having so many, so I really have to work on filling this up to make it a little bit more exciting than what it is with just this many. So the students are gonna be given a quarter when they get to come to the uh, gumball machine. They're gonna insert it, not like that, but obviously correctly, and then they're going to just crank it. and one will come out. They get to open it up. And this one says, enjoy stinky feet. So they get to take their shoes off for school. I honestly cannot even express in words how excited I am about this thing. I have been wanting one of these for years and I finally got one for my classroom. Um, so this is going to be the new big addition into what I'm doing this year. I hope that you guys like it. Do you have one of these? I want to know. Do you have like one of these or would you like one of these inside of your classroom? I saw it from a professor that I had in college. I went to the University of Montebello in Alabama and she had talked about having a gumball machine inside of her classroom. And I even remember her giving a sheet of paper with all of the free rewards. Obviously, I don't know where that is anymore, but um, I have always had that idea in the back of my head and I'm very excited to be able to um, act on that this year. It is officially the first day of school and I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what my classroom looks like as I get ready to prepare to have students walking in my door in about 40 minutes. So here is what my classroom looks like 
on the very first day of school. We've got everything out on desks. And at the very front of the classroom, I have a very simple sign. Let me see if I can get the lighting to work. It just says, welcome to the Mac team. Backpacks go in the back of your chairs and then work on your name tag using the bluish paper. So each desk has a blue sheet of paper. They have a name, they have their folder. They also have a name tag that they're gonna get to clip on. Um, and that is gonna be what they work on. So here's kind of an example. So here's what the activity looks like. Students have a name tag that looks very similar to this. Um, I just used a font that I found in Google Drive. So using slides, I created this little template. The kids have four different rectangles on their name tag and they're going to use this little name tag activity this morning. So they're gonna go through the upper left-hand corner, which is gonna be about subjects and topics the upper right hand corner, which is about books, songs, or films, the lower left hand corner, which represents a current job or career they're interested in, and then the lower right hand corner, which represents a place that is special to them. So that's gonna be what they are working on as I am greeting all of the students into the classroom today. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. I'm feeling pretty good about it. So the game plan is, is that I'm going to be outside greeting students as they're coming into the classroom. They're going to take a seat. They're going to start working on their name tag activity. And then that way I can get lunch count. I can get bus information. I can get the attendance and all the things that I have to get to. So hopefully this will take them a little bit longer. They do have their iPads. So that's going to be um, another item that they can work on while we're kind of sitting here independently, just waiting for all of the things that need to be done on the very start of school to be done. And we as teachers know it takes forever. <laughs> so um, all of those things are gonna be finished up this morning, but I've got the nerves, as you could tell, because I'm talking fast. And so I am gonna go ahead and get started with the day. Wish me luck. I hope I come back on in like a split second for you guys, but multiple hours for me and let you know that everything went really, really well. So we have that activity. It's gonna be a lot of routines, procedures, expectations today, um, because we do have some new things that we're gonna be doing. Kids are going to the lunchroom. They're gonna be going to the specials room. Yes, that means I have my classroom to myself for a little bit during the day, which I'm so grateful for. Last year, it was not that way. Special and lunch was being held inside of my classroom. So I'm thankful to be able to have my space back to rejuvenate. <laughs> throughout the day, but I do want to mention this before I let you guys go and I start greeting kids. So it's been raining really hard all morning and I'm going to take this as a sign just like with weddings that if it rains on your wedding day, it's good luck. If it rains on the first day of school, we're going to take that as good luck, right? Yeah, it's fine, right? <laughs> Cross my fingers on that. All right, I'll see you guys in a second and let you all know how my first day went. I always get so nervous. 10 years, guys, I've been doing this 10 years and I still get nervous on the first day of school. Let's start off and just notice that my hair is back. It didn't even last for like two minutes today. <laughs> I was so sweaty all day long, note to self. It's gonna be a hot day <laughs> on the first day of school. I feel like this happens every first day. Um, first day was great. It was fantastic. I love my kids. It just, it went phenomenally. Um, so I wanted to share just a few things of what we did today, um, just so that I can share some of the things on how kind of I set up my day. And I'll be very, very honest. I don't do a ton of activities, mainly because the day is filled with a lot of, all right, we're gonna go here, so let's talk about how we do that. We're gonna go and do this, let's talk about how we do that. And then we had to do a fire drill like procedure, so I don't do a ton of activities, but the kids left saying that it was a fantastic day. And I feel like if they said it's a fantastic day, then I did pretty darn good for myself. Okay, so let me turn you around and show you what we did. Okay, so hopefully this sounds a little bit better because I turned my fan <laughs> off so that you guys could hear me all right so one of the first things that we did was we read this book which is called how i spent my summer vacation it's a really cute book i actually showed it as a kindle um, and then i projected it up on my board over there and the kids seemed to really enjoy that so it's basically about this little kid who has an imagination um his mom says it goes too wild so he ended up 
uh, telling a story that he was a cowboy. <laughs> uh, and it was really cute. We enjoyed the whole story itself and we talked a little bit about it afterwards. And then I went on ahead and I shared with them uh, this presentation that I made on who am I? So I kind of showed them, um, here's me, here's my boys, because I talk about them quite a bit. Here's my husband who doesn't like to be in pictures very often. Um, and then we went through and shared a little bit about what we did. So I did Walter, I went to Ocean City this summer, we did kayak, we did a river, um, and some of these had little videos. So the kids were able to watch the videos like this. So they were able to watch some of the videos that I had in there. So this is also a video here. Um, so I shared some pictures, kind of talked to them through a little bit of everything. Um, and then I also did like some things you need to know. So we talked about pencils and how I don't like they, them to be sharpened. We talked about how we do rewards. Um, how do we go to the bathroom, like not going during my instruction time. Where do we put desk and materials and then talk about having fun, but always being able to be serious afterwards. So we did that. And then from there, um, my kids got to share something that they did over summer vacation. Uh, so it was basically them just kind of sharing out because I didn't have time to get to the brainstorm for the actual activity part of it because we were running really behind. Everything just takes forever on the first day of school. So that's basically what we did in the morning. And then we had a lot of like in between stuff, including fire drill, getting ready to go to lunch, bathroom, all that stuff. The afternoon we did a fun activity. Ooh, actually I wanna show you guys this. Um, I use this as a way to just kind of engage my kids and they really, really love it. So this is a catch box, which has a microphone inside of it. Ooh, I don't know if I can do it. It's a very powerful microphone, hold on. So it has a microphone inside of it. So this is a microphone piece here, but it's nice and soft so that students can actually throw this around and then speak into it. And then I have a microphone that's like connected to a speaker that's in the back so that all of my kids can hear it. So this is how they were able to share and they really enjoy that um, overall because they like throwing that thing. <laughs> and then for the afternoon activity, my kids got to do a an escape the room um, or a breakout, whatever you wanna end up calling it. And I use, I've used this one before and I really, really enjoy her work. So I'm gonna talk all the best things about this person. Um, and I'm gonna show you the product that I used. So this is it right here. It's cracking the classroom code, um, getting to know you for upper elementary. This one's about school supplies. So the kids get familiar with the school supplies themselves. Um, you can see she has a ton of these that I've used in the past. And I, I just really, really enjoy them. Um, so I had all the materials like set up here and then I had the kids kind of placed into groups and they were able to kind of get to know each other, but also find different school supplies that were inside of the classroom. I gave the kids an hour and I'll be very honest with you, they did not finish. <laughs> but I went on ahead and gave them their treat, which was a blow pop or a Tootsie Pop. So one or the other, they got to pick. Um, and that was really the day. We had a name word search that they also did. I had a coloring activity, um, which I will show you that because I also think it's pretty cute. Um, and that was really it, guys. Like, I feel like we don't get a ton done because I feel like I'm just talking at them all the time. <laughs> like, there's a lot. I've got so many siblings, guys. So let me show you this. So here was the Mac Teen coloring page. I actually made this on Procreate. It's really cute. So I thought um, this would be fun. So the kids actually got to do this for a little bit as well. It was basically for those moments when I was like, I just need a minute to stop talking. And so please color. <laughs> That's basically what those moments felt like. Um, but yeah, it was a good day overall. The buses kind of ran a little bit later, so I'm here later than I normally would be, but I'm very excited to go home. Ian had his first day of school for high school. Can you believe it? I have a high school student. Um, he's a freshman, so he had his first day today, and then Blaine has his first day tomorrow. So I'm gonna go home, rest my voice, and then come back tomorrow, um, and let's see how day two goes. <laughs> really, really tired, but I feel I'm in really good spirits, which is great. I feel great. I felt like today was great. I love my kids. 
they're chatting. <laughs> Very chatty. Because all my kids know each other. <laughs> but it's going to be fine. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to relax. And then I will see you guys in the morning. All right. Good morning. It is the next day, day two of being back to school. I was about to say the first day of school. That doesn't make any sense. Um, so it is day two of, with my students today, and we're gonna continue some of the things that we were working on yesterday. Yesterday, I have to tell you, <laughs> so we have a new seating arrangement that's in our cafeteria. So in order to help with mitigation, we have kids at a table, but we're, they're skipping every other seat, but they also wanna keep like a seating chart. It was a hot mess. <laughs> express so today I need to make some labels for that um, I'm basically gonna make laminated cards that the kids are gonna keep inside of their toolbox which is their just pencil box that they have um, and it's just gonna tell them the table number their seat number so that way they remember and when it's time to switch because we're gonna switch them every month um, I can collect the cards and then redistribute them so that the kids have a better idea of where they should be going so hopefully that helps I don't know. We'll see. We're going to try our, our very best. But I wanted to share a couple of things that we're going to be doing today. So the first thing um, is that the kids will come in and they will have uh, something to do with their desks. Normally, I'm not a fan of morning work. I don't. I don't love it. It is not my jam. I want them to come in. I want them to make a good choice. And I want them to do something independently. That's just kind of how I roll. So... With that being said, <laughs> the beginning of the school year is always a little bit different for me. So I will kind of wing them off a little bit because I want them to come in. I want them to get situated because I'm trying to do so many other things that are happening between bus, between making sure kids know where they are, between it's just too much. So um, apparently I created this a while back and I didn't realize that I still had it <laughs> until I was like cleaning out my Google Drive and then I was like, oh. Oh, that's fun so it's an about me and basically the kids are just gonna fill out each of the little pieces so they have favorite snack favorite movie animal three favorite topics uh, favorite book or series favorite game my favorite color and then my favorite TV show I put it on black because I'm gonna end up hanging it up in the hallway so I'm just gonna have the kids use a pencil and then they're just gonna go back over it with marker so that way we can ensure that we can see it all. So that's gonna be this morning. We're gonna do a morning meeting activity, still using our cards from yesterday. That's our name tags. So we shared the upper left-hand corner. Today, we're gonna share the upper right-hand corner, which if I'm not mistaken, is like the favorite book, film, um, or song that they can share. Um, so that's gonna be this morning. We're gonna attempt to do an activity. So cross our fingers, let's hope that it all goes well. <laughs> Um, and then we're going to continue with the discussion that we had yesterday about our summer vacation and just something that we did over the summer. I like to get an idea of my students writing at the beginning of the year. And so this is always a really great way for me to just see what they can do. Um, so I shared some of the places that I went this past summer vacation. I chose one specifically that I knew that I wanted to write about. And then I had my students kind of share, um, with with theirs. Today we're gonna go a little bit further. We're gonna do a beginning, middle, and end. So I'm gonna model how to do this and then I'm going to have them complete it. I wanna check it off before I actually have them start writing um, just so that I feel like I, it, I can make sense of it, <laughs> hopefully. And so they're going to work on this and then um, that is pretty much it for the morning because we gotta go back over bathroom, recess all of our recess and then lunch and that just takes a while let's just be honest um and then for like a quiet time because i just need sometimes i just like to have something to do that's just i just need you quiet i really don't like i just need time <laughs> we're gonna do an interest survey because i just like learning about my kids so this is a basic information um, about them, their favorites, learning preferences, and then we go into interests in the back. So the kids are gonna be doing this a little bit later on. Um, and then we have some fun stuff in the afternoon because we're gonna end it always in a really happy way this first week of school, just to make sure that the kids are excited and they wanna come back because that's the big thing. I just want kids to feel like they want to come back to school. So my cousin, um, teaching third with Mr. G, his name is Juan, he created a Jenga set. 
Guys, I swear I had so many Jenga sets ready. Hold on. It's not. Okay, I had lots of these little Jenga sets that you get from the Dollar Tree. They were already painted colors. I have no idea where they are. Like, I cannot find them anywhere in my room. And I'm somewhat wondering, did I accidentally, like, did I give it to somebody? Not accidentally, but did I, like, let somebody borrow it? And then I never got it back? Like, what happened here? Either way, I was gonna do the Jenga version, but now I can't do that. So in a product that he has, there is a mystery version. So I'm gonna have a bucket with all these little boxes here. And then the kids are gonna do a mystery talk, like this. So they have the boxes, when they pull a box, they have to answer the question in that box and they just kind of keep going down. So let's say student one pulls from box one, they all answer this first question. Let's say student two answers, like pulls a little um, tag that says box one, they go to the second question and they just keep moving on. It's just a conversational one, the kids, like it because they get to talk to each other. On top of that, we're gonna do headbands. So the kids are gonna do, this is just a beginning of the year headbands activity. I'm trying to get them like used to some of the activities that I like to do. Jenga's one of them, even though I don't know where all my Jenga blocks are. They like disappeared last year apparently. <laughs> so Jenga's one of them, headbands is another one. The escape rooms are like another one. These are things that I will constantly do all year round. So I want them to get kind of used to it. And these are fun, easy ways to do it because we're introducing it not with uh, topics that they are learning about. So these are very simple, easy topics. Like these are school supplies, subjects, that kind of thing. And the kids really enjoy it. So that's the game plan for today. I need to go ahead and start making my labels, getting those laminated and cut, so that, and also doing my morning message, so that we're ready to go. Here we go. So I really quickly wanted to show you guys the mystery math talk and how I have it set up. So I'm using containers that I've had since kindergarten. These are just some that I've purchased from the Dollar Tree. Um, I used to have different centers inside of them actually, which is why I have like a hole right here. Do you see that? Um, but here's the mystery math talk. All I did was put all of the cards inside. I shook it up really good. Um, I laminated these because the students are basically going to cross them off as they answer those questions so they're not answering the same questions multiple times. So that's the little setup. That's what I'm going to be giving my groups later on this afternoon. And then the other activity, I just have them already in Ziploc bags. So I'm just going to hand these out super quick. Um, so it'll be nice fun <clears throat> just sorry my voice but a nice fun just activity for my kids to do to be able to get to know one another and I'm going to ensure that they have different groups um, for both of these just so that we can change things up a little bit and so they can get to know all of their classmates so I also have my morning message up feeling super proud happy Friday everyone I told myself that I was going to pick up the camera yesterday afternoon but I was so unbelievably tired. <laughs> I felt like the first day of school, which was on Wednesday, um, I had a little bit of energy. Like I felt good going home. We did some things at home with the kids. We ran a couple of errands. But yesterday, I wasn't having it. I looked at Trent and I said, there is no way I'm getting up off this couch to make dinner we got to figure something out. So I, we ended up going to this little local like diner restaurant, which was delicious by the way. I don't understand why we don't go there more often. It was fantastic. So we went there and then uh, came back home and I went straight to bed. I'm not going to lie. Like that is pretty much the extent of my evening. I am a fun person. <laughs> um, but today is Friday. Thankfully, I honestly, don't know how and I'm gonna put you guys down for a second <laughs> I'm gonna fall I'm getting my morning message up so this is why I put you guys down but I honestly do not know how in the world some teachers have like a full first week 
heading back. Like, do you guys have a full first week or are you kind of like me where you maybe have three or two days with students on that first week back? Guys, if I had to have a full week, like they would have to peel me off this floor because <laughs> I just, there is no possible way that I would be able to do it. Um, so today's going to be a little bit of an easy day, which I'm very excited about because that's how Fridays should be, in my opinion. Um, but today is going to be the first day that we rotate with our MAC team. And so we're not doing our full-blown rotation schedule. That's going to be next week. But today is going to be all about meeting the other classes because we've only been in homerooms uh, Wednesday and Thursday. So we have not moved out of our rooms. We've been sticking with just our kiddos. Focusing on like routines, procedures, all of that. So um, today, I'm going to go ahead and present this and put this down. Today, uh, the kids are going to be rotating with two rotations. So because I've already had my home room, they already know me. I've already done the presentation with them. It's the same presentation that I showed you guys on the first day of school. And um, they're going to have like an activity to do. Let's just make sure that my morning message comes up. Mine, it's been coming up in a funky color lately, <laughs> but it does get better. I think it just needs to warm up. All right, I think we're good. Here we go. So as I mentioned, we're gonna be doing a fun activity. And so each of the teachers have thought of um, an activity to do with an entire class. It's a collaborative activity, a get to know you activity, it could be whatever they want. So one teacher is doing bingo because she really loves bingo. <laughs> and then the other teacher is going to do two truths and a lie. I feel like I went a little bit overboard because I'm gonna do saving Sam or saving Fred. I feel like everybody kind of does it a little bit differently. But I've chosen to do saving Sam and I don't know if I'm gonna regret this, <laughs> but we shall see. <laughs> so, Basically what's gonna happen is the kids really have these two rotations to be able to work on this. So in the morning I have, my principals are gonna come in with my guidance counselors, they're gonna do the like beginning of the year talk with my kids. And so after that we'll do a morning meeting activity and then we're gonna rotate. So I'll have a new group, I'm gonna introduce myself using that PowerPoint and then we're gonna do our Saving Sam activity. I'll be honest guys, I'm not gonna do like some fancy schmancy like paper reflection piece. If I have time and I need to kind of stall myself before we move back to go to lunch, then I'm gonna just take out an index card and I'm gonna have them reflect. I'm gonna give them a three, two, one that they need to reflect on and that's really about it and maybe we'll do a little bit of sharing. But I'm not gonna do anything fancy because we don't have time to do fancy. I don't want to have it to where I have kids fighting with me uh, because they don't necessarily wanna do the work because I don't know all of my kids yet and we have a huge variation. We have a very diverse group um, of children. So I'm not gonna do anything fancy. We're gonna present activity, maybe do an index card. That's really all I have planned for today. Um, I do need to grab a morning work that I'm gonna look for right now, and I have a meeting at eight o'clock. So I got all my stuff. Um, the activity that we did yesterday with the mystery talk that my cousin has, um, I have it down in the description box for you guys to go and check out if you wanna start putting that into play because it's really, really good and I use it every year was fantastic. The kids did a great job, a great job. And I really love how we organized it. I will tell you that for that activity, and I'm trying to see if I put it away. Okay, so I will tell you that for that activity, I told you guys that I was gonna group my students differently than what we were in yesterday. So I did not want them to have the same groups that they had yesterday. And I'll be honest, I let them choose. I don't know what possessed me. Maybe I just wanted to see how they made, what kind of choices they made. And they were okay for the most part, except for two sweet little groups. They didn't make the best choices, which is now I know, right? <laughs> I've learned my lesson. But what I ended up doing to put them into their groups yesterday is an activity that I've done many, many times. So I have two different bags. I have groups of three groups of four. So I needed to have one group of four and the rest were threes. But here's what it is. Basically, what I did is I went online, I created a 
Google uh, slide. And on each slide, I took a book. And all I did was copy the book. I printed them and then I cut them out in funny shapes. So they create puzzles. So I have all these different book covers that create a really fun puzzle and it's a great grouping activity. So what I did is I mixed up the number that I needed and then I gave, went around and gave each kid their puzzle and I had it facing down on their desks. And then I told them that they were going to find their group this way. It was the best thing ever. Like this is the best thing ever. You have to have, <laughs> I'm telling you what to do now, but you have to have something like this because it is just so easy. Um, I have mine laminated and then I just kind of put a little um, paper clip on it and then I stick it into my little bag and it's so easy for me to pull out and to quickly group my students. So that was fantastic. Today, I think I'm gonna end up using trays. Give me a second. Okay, so remember, if you've been watching me since last year, you would have seen these trays. Basically, it's a cookie sheet from the Dollar Tree, just a rectangular cookie sheet. This here is a yoga mat that I cut up. So I went to probably TJ Maxx, bought a yoga mat, and I cut it up to fit the size in here. And the reason I did that is because when I taught kindergarten and I used these, the kids would use this as their little workspace. But Lord have mercy, they would use the dice on this and it would create all the noise in the world. So the yoga mat helps to prevent noise. And it's a really easy way to hand out all of the materials. So the cups are gonna be on it, everything's gonna be ready to go. Um, and it's gonna be fairly easy to manage hopefully. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. I'm going to be honest. I've never done Saving Sam. Never done it. I've been teaching. This is my 10th year. I've never done Saving Sam. So we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> okay. So if you were like me and have been teaching and have never used Saving Sam, or if you're a new teacher and have never used Saving Sam, <laughs> I'm going to walk you through the activity. So imagine for a second, <laughs> Sam is on a boat. Sam is a worm. Okay. So he's out on a boat, which I don't think is a great idea because a worm on a boat with fish just seems dangerous to me. But nonetheless, Sam is on a boat out in the ocean. And all of a sudden, a big wave comes and it crashes into Sam's boat, sending his boat toppling over, turning upside down, and saving Sam in order to save himself because he did not have his life jacket on. It's not good. He drags himself up on top of the boat and is up there. So he needs to try and save himself because Sam cannot swim. Again, why he was not wearing his life jacket is a very important life lesson to have. He was not wearing it. So we have to help Sam be able to turn his boat over, put his life vest on and get in back inside of the boat. But you can only do this using paper clips. You're not allowed to touch Sam and you're not allowed to touch the vest. So the kids have to basically work cooperatively um, and to collaborate with one another so that they can help save Sam. Um, and that's pretty much it. So let me show you the setup. So each of the little trays has its own um, materials. So the little life vest, which is a gummy lifesaver, is right there underneath. Sam is up on top of the boat, and then they have their tools that they can use in order to help save Sam. So that's what everybody's area looks like. Um, and the only other thing that I'm going to pull out is some index cards. I'm going to do that. I'm going to start to look for something that I want them to do for morning work. I'm pretty sure I have a couple of things over here that I'm going to look through, um, but I'm going to just drink some coffee and relax because I have a meeting that I need to get to in about 20 minutes. So I'm just going to get my space cleaned up and then I promise you guys I am coming back <laughs> in the afternoon to say goodbye to you. So I'm going to go ahead and end this here and I'll see you in a second, but it'll be like six hours for me. So I'm back before I even head out to my meeting. Um, so my husband has been working, Trent has been working really hard in helping me fill these. I think we're going to have to fill all 200 of them because this does not look impressive and I don't think this is going to do much, to be honest. <laughs> so we're still working on the rewards that I showed you, like, oh my gosh, way earlier this week when I was, like, trying to get everything ready to go for Wednesday. 
but I have to tell you guys like I had one of the students try it out and I'm gonna do it for each of the rooms that comes to visit me I'm gonna just give one kid a quarter to come and have a go with it uh, and she was so excited. I, it was the cutest thing ever. We are just, I'm over the moon with this thing. Like, I'm very, very excited. Trent has to, like, fix it because right now it has this weird thing sticking out, which is the lock, essentially, um, that lets me refill. But over the moon, excited. The kids love it. Um, so, oh, he even... Packaged it. <gasps> so I'm gonna stick these in because I want this to look semi fuller when the new classes arrive. Okay, I am gonna head to my meeting now. It is officially the end of the day, and I am so very tired. Today was fantastic. The kids had so much fun saving Sam. My first block actually had almost all the groups finish up except for one. And then my second group, I had about half of them be able to finish up. Um, and they were able to save Sam. So that was exciting. And they really, really enjoyed the activity. It was so good to be able to see like the mixture of the sixth and the fifth and the fourth graders just really working together to be able to complete this activity overall. And it just makes me so excited for, you know, what's to come this school year. So I did want to take a moment to just kind of chat you guys through a couple of things. So I am a multi-age teacher in my district, meaning I am a fourth, fifth, and sixth grade teacher. So we are a team of three teachers, myself and two other teachers make up this team. And our home rooms consist of a mixture of students. And so in the past, we used to teach kind of a little bit of everything. So I would teach maybe a fourth grade math, a fifth grade math, then I would maybe have a sixth grade ELA and then a fourth grade ELA. It really just kind of varied on the schedules and our student schedules and what worked best for them. This year, because we are not completely back to normal, we still have some restrictions, it's going to look a little bit different. Now last year, because of COVID, I was just a fifth grade teacher, so I only taught fifth grade ELA, everything. We were in our own rooms, we were isolated, the students did not move, but because this year we are starting to lift some of those restrictions, not completely, we're kind of easing back into it. Um, we have our mixture of homerooms and we are going to be moving classes. So we are still keeping it to where ELA and math is by grade level. So ELA fourth grade is going to have a block, ELA uh, fifth grade, ELA sixth grade, and then same thing with math. Our content times are going to be taught within our homeroom. So it's going to be a mixture of students. So we thought that this would be the best way of doing it by kind of separating ELA and math with their grade levels. That way we can also keep track of students, um, our seating charts and all of that. So someone came into my room. <laughs> the bad thing is, is I don't really know where I left off. So I think I was talking about the Mac team and basically that we are going to have our homerooms mixed, but we're going to keep them isolated into their grade levels for ELA and for math, but then have them mixed again for content. So we're going to be switching classes. Each teacher is going to be responsible for a grade level and a subject. So one teacher is going to do fourth grade ELA, fourth grade math, and then content with her homeroom. I am strictly going to be doing sixth grade ELA and fifth grade ELA. And then my other teacher is going to do sixth and fifth grade math. Uh, and then we will all teach content at the exact same time. So we're doing a lot of things in between. You know, we have assigned seats. We're kind of cleaning off the desks. So we may not be completely back to the way we used to be. But I think this is a really great compromise of just kind of even easing us back in from the restrictions that we had last year, which were pretty intense because we couldn't do anything. Um, so it's gonna be a good year and I feel really, really excited about it overall. I love all of my kids. They are a fun bunch, let me tell you. And it just makes me really hopeful for what this year is, is gonna be like. Um, so yeah, so today went really well. The first week is kind of down, even though it was only three days. Next week is going to be like the first full week of school. We're going to start switching into our actual block schedules uh, and kind of going from there. I am very sorry that this vlog might seem just a little bit choppy. I got to be honest, vlogging on the first week of school 
is no easy task. <laughs> it's very difficult and challenging because I feel like I'm trying to like do all of the things and get all my stuff together. Um, so I felt like I started recording. I would forget to record. I was too tired to record. It was like a whole thing of a thing. So I appreciate you joining me on these first three days of school and just getting back into the motions of things. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up if you did. It really does help my channel. It helps for me to be able to get the video out there and allow me to continue putting up these videos here on YouTube. If you are new here, uh, welcome. I would love for you to subscribe so that you can get more content like this and we talk a lot about ELA here on this channel, so I'm very excited about it and can't wait to share some really great strategies that you can use into your own classroom. And then finally, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can get reminded every time I go live or I upload a new video. Wow, my lighting changed right there. There we go. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video um, and I will catch you all next time. Bye.